Well, recently in Brooks County, corn and soybean producers gathered at the farm of Randy Dowdy for a field day. Yeah, the event brought many farmers together to see how long the list of corn and soybean varieties are performing on the farm. A monitor's Mark Wildman has that report. Figuring out which variety of corn or soybeans that will work best on your farm is key to farming success. And at this Pioneer Field Day in Brooks County, farmers had a lot of information to work through. Side by side, different Pioneer corn varieties are tested here at the farm of Randy Dowdy, and each variety could be compared to the next. In a relatively short period of time, producers got an opportunity to hear from experts from Pioneer, from Randy himself about how the crops are growing, and from UGA grain specialist Dewey Lee, who believes field days like this one help all growers. Well, it's very refreshing for an individual who really had no preconceived ideas about how to grow crops. Go out, learn, take the best information between public and, and private uh, entities, and apply that to a farm. And when you do that, then you are able, I think, to make real leaps in, in uh, yield and agriculture simply because you're taking the best information available. So every time, when, and when growers learn, when growers see someone like that, and then that challenged themselves. They, they'll challenge themselves to say, hey, if this guy can do it, I think I can too. You can't argue with the success Randy's had on this land. Since 2011, he's been breaking records. In 2010, I entered the contest for the first time. We, we harvested 279 bushels to the acre on the contest field, and then in 2011, we entered the contest again. I, I had a 352, a 340, and a 364. And then in 2012, I actually had a, a, a 340, a 372, and a 374. And then in 2013, uh, I had a 370, a 386, and then a 405 and a 417. Randy has reached those big yields by heavily managing his crops, and he does not keep the information to himself. It's understanding what plant stress is and trying to be a step before it comes. Um, some of it's out of our control. You know, we can't control the weather, but we can do things as we learn and be a student of that crop and learn you know, how, many, how much nutrients it takes to grow a high yielding crop, uh, how to cool the plant artificially, how to be a better steward of, you know, the fungicides that are available on the market um, to provide plant health and to provide uh, disease prevention and um, curative functions. So, you know, we have to use all the tools in our arsenal. In the past, Randy has planted twin row corn, but this year he has changed that some. This year we're testing you know, 30 inch corn, which is very popular around the country. Uh, I've got some growers that I'm working with that grow 30 inch corn. Um, the verdict's out, I know more at harvest. He applies fertilizer directly through his irrigation pivots and feels strongly on planting different varieties of corn to maximize his crop potential. Now that this farm has consistently broken records in corn, he is setting his sights on breaking soybean yield records next. We went into this trying to see if we can do 100 bushel beans. Supposedly it's never been documented in Georgia. I think people have probably seen it on a yield monitor. Uh, there's people seeing 80, 90 bushels as field averages, but supposedly it's never been documented in a contest plot 100 bushel beans in Georgia. Only time will tell how the yields will turn out this year, but with good varieties, good information, and hopefully good weather, the sky is the limit on the potential for this crop. Reporting from Brooks County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.